What's up guys, Black Hole Zero, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Project Manager 2019 for another classic. Um, we're going to do Liege Baston Liege. Uh, now I've uploaded one on Sunday with the 2020 database. Now let's go back 10 years before, uh, the year is 2010, Alexandre Vinokurov is about to win Liege Baston Liege, but we're going to try and rewrite history today. Because we won't go with the uh, rider from Kazakhstan, or well, I mean from Astana, but the Kazakh rider. Um, I've had like a few choices. Uh, I could go. Uh, I, I could have gone. Sorry, uh, with like Kunego for Lamprey, uh, or the likes of where was that? Where, where was it? Igor Anton. Uh, there was another show I had, um, but I don't think it's. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. Thomas Vauclair to win this. If I can pull this off, knowing that I, I finished far, far down the order with, with Van der Poel, if I can pull this off with Thomas Vauclair, I'll redeem myself. D-Box, Big Telecom, Thomas Vauclair, Pierre Roland, Pierrick Federigo, Anthony Charteau, Yuri Trofimov, Cyril Gauthier, and Mathieu Spreek, the seven riders to try and win Liege Baston Liege. Let's get it. It's a plus two for the Frenchman today, which puts him on 78-79. God, I'm getting flashbacks of the 2011 Tour de France when we nearly had a Frenchman winning it. Ah, Thomas Vauclair, you, you either hate him or you love him, but you cannot be... I mean, if you're French, I don't think you can be impartial... Or not impartial, but like you can't be emotionless uh, to, towards this person because he just conveyed so much for France. He just did a lot of things... And I'm not going to lie, I didn't plan on doing this with Thomas Vauclair, absolutely not. This was not my idea. I, I clicked on B-Box by, by, by like mistake because I wanted to like show other teams before going to the actual team I wished to pick. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the, the actual team I wanted to pick was Sky with Simon Garrens. That was my aim. I wanted to go with Sky and like see Chris Froome, Bradley Wiggins, Garen Thomas... Um, I mean, Garrett wasn't there, but you had at least Chris Froome, Thomas Lovequist, Lars Peter Nordug, Sylvain Calzati, I mean, some some good names. Uh, and no, I decided to go with D-Box. Uh, also, I'm missing one rider because I haven't uh, modified the DB to make Liege Baston Liege eight riders and not seven. Uh, which is why I've got seven, I think. I don't know. Um, it was Katia Lanz only got seven. Or actually, no, I'm, uh, no, 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 my bad. Uh, I'm trying shit. It's just that B-Box took only seven riders that year. Um, oh, we're going to take a look at the front of the Peloton. We're going to stop uh, pacing with Federico and Trofimov. Now, this is like the 2013 parkour. So it does uh, finish with the um, Côte d'Anse and um, Saint-Nicolas just before. No flatter portion after like with 13 kilometers to go. No downhill, no sprint. None of that. Uh, which is why I am extremely scared that this is not going to go well at all. Um, but but we'll see. Pierre Roland is already here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to B-Box. It used to be a team I really liked, and then they became they became Europe Car. I, I liked them, and then ever since they started to be Direct Energy, they just became like random. I don't know. Uh, let's just take a look at the start list. Um, shout out to Leonardo for making it because. I, I know how to make start lists, uh, and usually I just would go on pro cycling stats uh, and just make it, but no, he had to go and check the entire classification of the race and go one by one. Uh, so, yeah, big, big props to him. Um, now, as I said, let's take a look at who's there. Philippe Gilbert, obviously, is there. Vinokov, the actual winner, is there. Valverde, Oscar Freire, Simon Garens, Kate Levens, Rada Hesdal, Sergei Ivanov, Andy Schleck, Damiano Cunego, Sylvain Chavanel, Igor Hansen, Fabian Wegman, Chris Horner, Thomas Vauclair, Vincenzo Nibali, Tony Martin, Bert de Vella, Bernard Vaugrenard, Stefano Garzelli, Carlos Sastre. Um, is it. L oh, wow, wait, brain. Is it Luca or Leonardo? For the time being, it'll be Bertagnoli. I think it was, it, it was one of. The two names I've, I've given. Reint Armay is there for Kofidis, Nicolas Roche for Ajatzer, and finally, Prebin van Hecke is going to represent Tapso Vlanderen. There's been a crash involving Pierre Roland, uh, but I'm pretty sure other riders such as Frank Schleck were caught up in the incident, TJ van Galderen as well, Edouard Vorganov, who withdrew from the race, uh, Big L for Katusha, I mean, Big L, no, not really, to be fair. 
Macharelli, Jérémy Roy. Okay, I um, don't think there's anyone like massive. Peter Villets is there, Christian van der Velde. Uh, some like good names, but not exactly uh, top tier. Let's take a look at who's in the breakaway. Uh, Sylvain Calzati, Matteo Bono, Ivan Santaromita, Dominic Rolls, and Romain Zingle. Uh, I've just checked, by the way, and it is indeed Leonardo Bertagnoli. I think that's what I had said. Uh, if it isn't, then I'm extremely dumb. Uh, if it is, then I'm a genius. 190 men in the peloton as everyone is now back uh, following the uh, crash of Edward Vorganov that led him that led to to uh, to him withdrawing from the race. It is a peloton paced by Jan Bakelons with very very shit stats um, that now enters the second half of this race. Also, I just wanted to check the stats of one guy. Tam Thomas de Rent did well. In two years, my man went from the from this to podium on the Giro. Go on, Thomas. I ex expect this group to come back uh, because there's some actual good riders such as Sega Ivanov, uh, but they've already been dropped once, um, mainly because of their positioning. But they're gonna have to like do do well because the Col du Rosier is upon us right now. Uh, actually, Yuri Trofimov is gonna be able to like be back. Uh, wait, I can already follow Thomas Bogler. <laughs> there's seven hundred. There's seven hundred kilometers to go. No. Uh, oh yeah, of course I can follow him. Yeah, my bad. I'm just trying shit. He's in my team. Um, all right, crash in the breakaway. Dominic Rolls from Milram is on the ground. Uh, it's a shame for him. 82 Barouda, jeez. A lot of riders had like a high Barouda start by the looks of it. Uh, but apart from him having 82, I don't know anything about this rider. Uh, and it is Sergei Klimov now attacking in the uh, the early start of the Col du Rosier. I mean, Sergei Ivanov just came back and my man is already attacking. That's, that's rather ambitious. Rather, rather ambitious. Oh, crash. Crash in the peloton. I was just making my train. Huge crash in the peloton with the entire team of Rabobank. Oscar Freire is on the ground. Uh, wait, who, who else is there? Nice tree, by the way, just blocking my vision. Uh, but big crash. Big, big crash. Anyone retiring? The answer appears to be no. But Rabobank has just lost big here. As... Uh, Nikki Soren, uh, Nikki, yep, Nikki Sonson paces at the front. Uh, we're gonna try and like salvage Pierrick Federigo to maybe have I don't know a second chance or like a fresher teammate down the uh, down the line. Uh, but I'm not sure we're gonna be able to uh, to do so with um the former stage winner on the Tour de France. 26 kilometers left, 26 kilometers remaining. Pierre Roland is giving me water right now. We're gonna come back on Vauclair and Trofimov. I mean, he's gonna come back on Vauclair and Trofimov to give me water. Uh, meanwhile, the peloton is currently paced by Jürgen Vandenbroek, trying to catch Alejandro Valverde. 19 riders, followed by another 18 with the likes of Sylvain Chavanel, Oscar Freire, the Rabobank riders who crashed uh, previously. And uh, they're going to try and come back. I think one of their riders at least is in the first group, and Dennis Menchov. Indeed, it is. Uh, or indeed, he is. I, I don't know. Attack. Attack from a Katusha guy. It's, actually, no, it's just um, Contador going mad. Good. Federigo is in the uh, the group behind. Like he's not dead, which is actually surprising. Um, so we might be able to use him later on. Code de Colonster for uh, this penultimate climb. If we consider, I mean, if, if we consider the uh, Code de Saint Nicolas, no, the Code de uh, climb, then there's still three more. But 17 kilometers left. Yuri Trofimov is now pacing a peloton with uh, Anthony Charteau and Pierrick Federigo are back in it. Uh, but for how long is the question? Sega Ivanov is going to make a move. Vauclair needs to avoid being vlogged by Alberto Contador right now. Alright, come on. Yuri Trofimov is going to pace. Is that Andy Schleck or Frank? It's Frank Schleck. Frank Schleck is going completely mental at the front. Things you love to see. Philippe Gilbert attacks. Philippe Gilbert attacks. Followed by Andy Schleck, Vino Kurov, Rodriguez, Kade Evans, Valverde, Damiano Cunego, and the entire team of Big Telecom. That's my boys. Right there. These are my boys. Wait, 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 I'm trying not to miss up here. Thank you very much. And a counter-attack from Alexander Vinokurov. Counter-attack from Vinokurov. Valverde goes for it. Oh, hold up. I'm going to need these guys to, like, do something now. 30 seconds, 12 kilometers to go. I'm not the one who needs to pace here. I'm not the one who needs to pace. 20 riders, they don't expect a rider from B-Box to pace. 
Like, out of everyone here, I should be the one with the least amount, like, NVT base. Although I do have four riders. I do have four riders. Attack. Attack from Frank Schleck. Trying to catch the two riders up front. 40 second is the lead for the, um, the two SKPs right now. Pierre Roland trying to chase them down. We're going to start the Côte de Saint-Nicolas in just a few hectometers. There we go. We are in the Côte de Saint-Nicolas. Yuri Trofimov is going to take the relay of Pierre Roland. As Alexandre Vinokurov has apparently dropped Alejandro Valverde. Valverde came back on the uh, Kazakh. Attack from Thomas Vauclair. Thomas Vauclair makes a move. Cunego follows. Purito follows. Gilbert follows. But up there they've made a move as well. Up there, they have made a move as well. Uh, actually, everyone followed my move here. Um, okay. Well then. They've literally killed themselves. Uh, we're going to fight for third, I guess. I guess we're going to fight for third. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm catching these. Uh, there's, there's no way in hell we're going to catch them. Alright. Well then, let's see who's going to be the smarter, the smartest. I'm leading this peloton, which is not what I wanted to do at all. Vinokurov has attacked already. We're going to follow and take the wheel of Alex of uh, Philippe Gilbert. My bad. Vinokurov or Valverde. Vinokurov is out of red already. Okay, that's a bit early. Vinokurov or Valverde. Valverde is going to take the win to Daniel Bastonier. And third place will be for Perito Rodriguez. Philippe Gilbert claims. 5th, Kelly Elvans 4th, Schleck, Kunego, Thomas Vauclair in 8th, Simon Garin, Sahadar, Hajdal. Uh, I think I should have followed Vinokurov and Valvade when they attacked. I think if I had done that, I probably wouldn't have won, but I'd be at least on the podium. Anyway, I don't have any regrets because 8th is still decent. I'm in the leading group ahead of like Igor Anton, Wegman, Contador. That's still, that's very decent for, for Thomas Vauclair, but... I'm pretty sure I actually finished 10th in real life that day, that year. So I guess it's an improvement. We've, we're up two places. Vinokurov will not be able to win both in real life and in PCM. Uh, I mean, we all know PCM is the superior uh, instance in cycling. So yeah, that means his win in 2010 is voided. Um, especially knowing that, I mean, he might have won it. I don't know. He allegedly won it by paying. I, again, don't know. Not my business, in it. Uh, but Valverde takes the win, Vinokurov in second, Purito in third. Uh, I mean, I finished second in Purito, so I guess I'm better than the AI. Uh, but in that case, it shouldn't... I mean, I, no, because I finished eighth with Vauclair. I should be first, who's better than the AI. God, my points are shit today. Uh, <laughs> but Kunego seventh, Vauclair in eighth. Uh, I'll take that, but as I said, I'm pretty sure I could have done better had I followed Vinokurov and Valverde. I don't know if I'd have been able to follow them. Let's be fair, like I probably would have tried to attack. Uh, I mean, I, I would have followed their attack. I probably would have blown up. It could have happened and I would have been finishing along, uh, alongside Fabian Wegman or Yuri Trofimov. But at least I would have tried. Uh, I've tried to play it smart. I've tried to like gather my strength to attack in the Côte de Saint-Nicolas. But Valverde and Vinokurov did the same. And I've never been able to uh, just drop anyone in my wheel. So I guess I'll settle for 8 today. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this shorter video then please please leave a like down below um also there's an important video coming on the channel tomorrow uh so if you're like still there uh it's regarding Perito and its food and its future so i really want you to like go and check it out uh so there might be like something quite interesting in it but i'm not spoiling anything um but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then do leave a like down below. Uh, if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you in the very near future. But I have been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with a bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.